continue with the same example. The rice mill owner, that is normal rice, he promised to buy 10 tons of rice from Keshu at the rate of 20. And Keshu accepts, but with, with one condition, you have to give me rupees 50,000 now as a token of advance, which is non-refundable. Now, what exchange says? In order to confirm this contract, the trader, that is rice mill owner, has to pay 50,000 to Keshu and Keshu has to give 10% of contract value as a margin to the exchange. Now, why rice mill owner has to pay 50,000 to Keshu, that is the farmer? Before learning the details, we will see what is an option contract. An option is a contract that gives the buyer, the holder, a right to buy or sell something at or before a future date at an agreed price. The holder, that is the buyer of the option, has a right but no obligation. As the buyer of the option is receiving a valuable right, he pay a price to the seller as a consideration which is known as option premium. So in our example, the 50,000 which the KSU demanded from normal rice, that means the rice mill owner is an option premium. So in the previous explanation, we have seen the holder or buyer of the option has a right but no obligation. We will see it in detail. detail. If price of paddy increased to 23 on January, what happens? It's a favorable situation to the rice mill owner. Why? He is having a right to get it for 20, which is having a market price of 23 today. So he will exercise his right. Now, if paddy price decreased to 16, what happens in January? Here, in the explanation we have seen, holder of the option has a right but no obligation. So, something which is having a market price of 16, will the buyer, will the holder, will he buy it for 20? No. So, here the rice mill owner is a buyer. Buyer have the right, he have no obligation. So, the contract will be lapsed. In case of option contract, the buyer had the option to buy or sell the underlying asset at the maturity date. In both these cases, if price increase, rice mill owner will exercise the option. If price decrease, the contract will be lapsed. In both these cases, the farmer, Keshu, is a loser. Is it fair? No, not at all. So, the option holder must pay a certain down payment called a premium for holding the right of exercising the option. This is considered to be the consideration for the contract. If the option holder does not exercise his option, he has to forfeit this premium. Logic, School of Management.